Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV's On The Social Show. This is the show where you take control and you send in questions for me to answer. Uh, once again, we've got quite a few um, questions on Twitter and Facebook, so if I don't read your question out, don't take it personally. These ones are just randomly selected from all the ones we've got. So I'll start off with Twitter. Let's start off with at Wayne1986 Banks. If Moyes keeps us up, do you think he should be given a contract extension? And if he does, do you think he can take us any further with the board not spending money? Um, listen, if he keeps us up, then he's... he's me, personally, I'd, I'd like to see us go elsewhere. I think he's done a great job, fantastic job. We're not guaranteed safety yet, but we're almost there. Um, if we do... If we do um, keep him on, then the board have to give him money to spend. If we go into next season with this squad, um, we're, we're going to be the same sort of position. Fully fit, we've got a great great start in 11, but we haven't got a great squad. We haven't got good backup to come in. Um, and, you know, we have got a lot of injuries. So, yeah, they would definitely have to give him money because if he don't spend, we're not gonna, we're going to be in the same position as we are this season. Right, at nil... WHU Thompson, can we keep hold of Anatovic come the end of the season? Will he become another Payet? I hope not. Listen, nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed in football. Payet obviously had his head turned at the Euros. Uh, he didn't want to be at West Ham, but I get a di different feeling with Anatovic. Um, I think that he he loves the club. Uh, he's been he's only been there well really since Moyes has come in. That's where he's started picking up a great form and he's been one of our best players this season, if not the best player. Um, so I don't think he'd go. I'd like to see us add to the squad and build around players like Anatovic because he can make things happen on the pitch and that's what we've been missing for a long time. Right. At Angry Bilic, would you start Arnie just off Chicharito versus Stoke? Uh, yes, 100%. Um, I'd like to see... Uh, Hernandez and Anatovic play together a lot more. I think they get a good, they've got a good connection going when they play. You see at the Chelsea game, uh, you see the way Hernandez celebrated with Anatovic. He obviously loves playing with him, so that'd be great to get them um, a little partnership going with them two. Right at MCFC fan nineteen ninety five. Take it, a Man City fan. So always good to have opposition fans giving us questions. Pick your West Ham, young player of the year, player of the year, worst player of the year. Uh, young player of the year for me, there's only one, that's Declan Rice. He's been unbelievable this season, especially over the last few games. Got his first international call-up, got man in the match. Uh, he's just been, he's got a massive future and I, I just hope that he's with West Ham for a long, long time. Player of the year for me, um, Marko Anatovic. Uh, it's close between a few players, well, not a few, but a couple of players. But for me, Marko Natovic, uh, just the way he's, since, especially David Moyes has come in, the way he's been playing, um, yeah, for me, he deserves it. And the worst player of the year, um, I don't want a single a, a, a player out. Um, there's been a few. I mean, Antonio, for me, hasn't had a great season. Okay, he's been injured for most of it. But when he's played, he hasn't really impressed me. Czech Kiate, another player, um, hasn't been consistent enough. But there's been a lot of players, a lot of players like that. So I don't want to just single one player out. Um, moving on, at the Hoss 84, do you think Joe Hart will be offered a permanent deal if he continues as well as he played Sunday and we stay up? Uh, look, my feelings, Joe Hart, I've always rated Joe Hart. I think he's uh, he showed on Sunday against Chelsea what he can do, but he needs to be consistent. Like all goalkeepers, Adrian as well. They need to be consistent. Um, would I sign him? Yeah, I would. If the opportunity was there, I think, and it was a good price, I'd definitely take him because I think, like Joe, Joe Hart just needs consistent running the team. Uh, his confidence is going to be sky high after the last two games. Clean sheet against Southampton, the saves he pulled off against Chelsea, man in the match as well. Um, he got us that well earned point. Right. At Dean Felton 8, can we ever sign that world-class player or will our current issues prevent us from doing so? Um, look, it comes down to money at the end of the day. If the board are willing to pay for a world-class player, 
Um, I mean, when you say world class, I mean, I look at Ronaldo, Messi, Suarez, Bell. They're the sort of Neymar. They're the sort of players that are world class. We need to be looking at improving our squad with with better players. Um, it's hard to pick out players, you know, because it de depends what money we get. It, that's that's what we need. They need to obviously back the manager, whoever it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, current issues at the club with what's gone on uh, with the fans and the board, it might put a few players off. But hopefully, with the players that we've got there, it'll attract better players if we do go in for them. Right, at Malcolm Brown 53, can you name your best West Ham 11 from the past 40 years? I'm only 34. <laughs> um, oh, that's a tough one. Um, look, off the top of my head, right, we'll go, what should we go? 3 5 3. Um, right. Right, McCloss going goal. Um, back three. Rio Ferdinand, he was classed when I first see him come on. Uh, James Collins for me. And Julian Dix, because he's my hero. I've got to get him in there somewhere. Right wing back, I'll go Trevor Sinclair. Um, left wing, uh, young Joe Cole. Um, two in the middle, I'll have Scott Parker and Johnny Monks. John Monker, Pyatt in front of them, just behind Dean Ashton and Decanio. Um, look, I could do about five or six teams. Uh, that's just... Yeah, it's tough. I've left that. Noble, Tevez. Oh, there's loads. There's loads I could put in there. Tony Cotty. But no, I'll go with that. Um, I did I say 3-4. I can't do my match there, can I? But no, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think that that's probably the best not only the best players, that the players I've enjoyed seeing play for West Ham over the years, but that's a good question that uh, chucked on me there. That's tough to do when it's just chucked on you. Um, moving on, at Mike J. Cox, do you think Moyes has done enough to earn a deal? He's virtually kept West Ham up, but will he push you on in the long term? Hashtag QPR fan. Oh, we're getting some other fans here. I like this. Um... Yeah, I think he has done enough. I think if the ball did go with him, um, then he's, he's deserved it if he's kept us up. We're not guaranteed safety yet, but look, a win against Stoke at home next week, and I think that virtually keeps us up. Um, will he push us on in the long term? Probably not, but he, if he is, he deserves a chance of bringing his own players and because he inherited Village's squad. He wasn't given money to strengthen in January, so give him a sum of a bit of money. Who knows? Right. At Chav Corner, how much do you think the board will spend big in the summer? Who should we sign? Who, if any, should we sign from the sides looking to get relegated? I.e. West Brom, Southampton, Stoke. Um, that, that's a tough one because obviously they're not relegated yet. West Brom, yeah. I mean, they've got some decent players. Probably out of them, I'd probably look at Johnny Evans, um, Rondon. He's a good, good striker. Uh, we also got Jay Rodriguez when he's fully fit. He's a decent player. But if I was to, I mean, you've got uh, Wall Prowse at Southampton. Stoke have got some good players, Shakiri. Uh, but for me, if I could have one player, um, probably have no chance of getting him. But if we're looking at a goalkeeper, if Stoke go down, then Jack Butland for me. I think he'd be a great signing for West Ham. But look, there's going to be a lot of teams, a lot of top clubs going for him if Stoke go down. Um but that would be my ideal signing for many of them teams. Right. At Lewis Tucker underscore 94. Thoughts on the potential signings of the, these young talents from the championship. Do we risk buying them and how much should we pay? Ryan Fredericks, right back at Fulham. Tom Kearney, centre mid at Fulham. And James Madison, centre mid at Norwich. Um... Yeah, I mean, Ryan Fredericks, I think he's out of contract. Um, so we could pick him up on a free. Uh, I think I've got that right. Um, with Sam Byram, I think he'll leave the club. So, yeah, he'll be a great addition to battle Zabaleta at right back. We need uh, we need another right back because Byram, for me, is injured too much. Uh, Tom Kearney, great centre midfielder for Fulham. Look, they could come up yet. So he might want to stay with them. Uh, it'd be a great addition to the squad, as would James Madison. He's, he's playing well for Norwich this season. 
Uh, they'll all be great. I mean, you're probably looking at at least minimum 20 million for them, just them two players there, are 20 million each, not for both of them. And if they come up, it'll be more money, uh, especially for Tom Kearney. But no, they're three great potential players, but um, I'd, I'd definitely take them, 100%. They're, they're great players for the future. Right, at Collinson underscore Bob, the bottom three keep losing and our confidence must be growing after two good results. Do you see the Stoke game as pivotal now as it would open up the points gap between those teams realistically being able to catch us? 100%. We need to, we need to treat that Stoke game just as we've treated uh, the Southampton and the Chelsea game. We need to go all out for them three points because if we, if we beat Stoke, then I think that would be us, not mathematically safe, but I think that will uh, keep us up and that will guarantee Premiership football uh, for us next season. Um, so yeah, we've got to go for it against Stoke. If we lose that, you never know. We could go on another run of two or three games not winning, and then you drag straight back into it. Especially if other teams around the bottom three start picking up points. Right at KJ O five nine. Why would we not keep Moyes for next season and give him the chance to select his squad? And at what level of manager should we expect over him? Um, yeah, you're 100% right. If we do keep David Moyes, then he should be able to bring his own squad in um, and give him a chance. If you give him a deal, you've got to give him a two, three-year deal. You can't give him a one-year deal. Um, what level of manager should we expect over him? Uh, that's a tough question. I mean, I'd like to see us go for someone like Pellegrini, Mancini. Um, even if you want to keep it English, Eddie Al, you know, I think he'd be a great manager for West Ham. Uh, Dyche, Burnley, but whether they want to lead their clubs, uh, there's some great managers out there, and I think that West Ham are an attractive club um, as long as they've got money to spend, though. But yeah, if if Moyes stays, then he definitely deserves a chance to spend the money and bring in his own players. Right at Corey Kemp underscore, do you think the owners will back the manager, whoever that may be, in the summer, given the uh, Real West Ham Fan Action Group meeting with Brady in March. Um, well, that meeting in March with the Action Group was obviously about different issues, not not the squad and spending, but they have to back the manager 100%. They've got to. We can't go into next season with what we've got because we're going to sell a few players. We're going to lose a few players in the summer. So they've got to spend. They've got to spend big because this is, for me, with everything that's gone on this season, if, if we've survived, um, it's going to be the biggest summer in West Ham's history. They've got to go out and spend... Millions. They've got, to, they've got to go out and get at least a minimum of six to eight quality players. Right. Well, I've got a couple more Facebook questions now. Eric Bolden, would you give Moyes an extension at the end of the season? Uh, look, I've said um, on previous questions, if he keeps us up and the ball stick with him, then he's got my back in uh, 100%. Um, I think he's done well. I don't think he's the sort of manager to push us on, but he's got to be given a chance in the summer to spend the money and bring in his own players. Um, so, yeah, uh, moving on. Ben Watts, with the, ma with the majority of the team having biscuit legs and getting injured all the time, is it time for Josh Cullen to have a chance? Kuyate in defence and Cullen in midfield give him a chance. I'm a massive fan of Josh Cullen. Uh, I'd love to see him get a chance. He's obviously had a couple of substitute appearances in the last uh, couple of games. I think if we beat Stoke and we go into them last few games of the season and we're safe, because I wouldn't want to chuck him in when he's got pressure on him because I think there's bigger players that should take that pressure on their shoulders. I'm not saying he couldn't handle the pressure, but I'd like to see him, you know, if we're safe, Man City at home, give him a run out against them, you know. The, the Man United's at home. Oh, you know, as long as we're safe, I don't want to put too much pressure on him. Kiate in defence. I've always liked uh, Czech at centre back. I think he's actually he's, he's actually a decent centre back. I think he actually played there for Anderlecht. Um, but when he's on form in midfield, which has been very rare this season, once he opens that legs and gets that room, he can make things happen in midfield. But no, I'd definitely like to see Josh Cullen uh, get a chance in the first team. Right, Aaron Stewart, Ryan, with Chica coming on at Chelsea and scoring, would you play him for the, from the start versus Stoke and drop Arnie slightly deeper behind Hernandez or play 
or pl play both up top as a two, I would play the both up top as two. Um, some of these questions, like where they're written wrong and then you have to try to correct it. it ain't me saying it wrong. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, I'd like to see that Hernandez and Atovic and Lanzini, that little triangle, I'd like to see that against Stoke if Lanzini's fully fit. Um, definitely, we, you know, I think them three together. Uh, but if Lanzini ain't fit, I definitely, I definitely think Hernandez deserves a start. Uh, when he starts, when he plays, when he gets a run of form, he scores goals. And now, Vich, we know what he can do. He will set Hernandez up all day long, and he creates stuff for himself. So, but I'd like to see that little triangle of them three at some point uh, with the remaining games of the season. Right, Warwick Betts. If Chikorito doesn't start against Stoke, will that be a sign Moyes doesn't fancy him and Chikorito isn't in Moyes' plans for next season? Listen, we've been crying out for a goal scorer for, for so long. We paid 16 million for Hernandez, which was a steal in the summer. Um, he's definitely... He has to start him. He can't... For me, we have to sort of build around him. We're getting it, like I said in previous questions, getting him and Anatovic playing together, I think we have to do it. Um, whether Moyes will be there next season, if he doesn't fancy him, then obviously he's got to let him go, but... I hope he don't because we, like I said, we've been crying out for a striker for so long, a goal scorer. He scores goals for fun in the box. You know, unless he's made a career out of it. Uh, but he's also known as a, a player that comes off the bench a lot. So if he starts, he scores. It makes sense. Right, moving on. Leone Berlace. Who out of the West Ham fan TV guys do you think would be, in theory, a great manager for West Ham? Um, I I wouldn't be a great manager. Uh, I'll I'll be the I'll be the captain. I'll be the captain. Uh, Graham obviously manages Thames Ironworks and Scott as well. He's the assistant. Uh, Nicky obviously managed the uh, old Nurm United team we used to play for. Uh, I think we've all got well. We think we have. We've got football brains, uh, knowledge of the game. So I think combine us all would make a a Mourinho type manager. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, I think I'd rule myself out of the job. Uh, I wouldn't want the pressure, but yeah, probably I'll give it to Graham. I didn't even mention Dan because um, he's now. I didn't mention Dan because he, he hasn't been a manager of, um, of a football team before. Well, uh, I don't think he has. So I'll have to ask him that question. But yeah, I like that one. Right, moving on. Tim Ferrell. Ferrell, who's going to be runner up to to the Hammer of the Year? Um, for me, Anatovic is going to be the hammer of the year from uh, this season. Runner-up, um, I'm going to say Ogbonna. Um, it could be Declan Rice, you know, he could get Young Hammer and runner-up. But for me, Ogbonna, uh, I think he's had a good season. I think for what he's had around him sometimes in defence, um, I think he's done really well, especially the last few games. Chelsea on Sunday, he was unbelievable once again. So, yeah, I'm going to go up Bonner, but Zabaleta is up there as well for runner-up, so it's going to be a close one. Uh, Dan Smith, just one question to you lads. I fucking love you. Come on, you irons. Um, that's not a question, but Dan, we fucking love you as well, mate. Thank you for your support. Um, we always see you popping up with comments and that, so thank you so much for your support, and that goes for everyone. Uh, it's been tough for us over the last few weeks. Uh, but no, we've had some great support and we'll always be forever grateful for that. Um, right, moving on. I think this is the last question. Ali, Sh Ali Shah, do you think Moyes should go all out on Monday playing Hernandez, Mario Lanzini and Marco together to ease the stress of having to rely on Marco to do something and then just have Kiate and Noble as holding midfielders? Uh, yeah, I think that goes on a uh, question I said earlier with Lanzini Anatovic and Hernandez. Uh, I want to see that little combination uh, click because I think if it does click, we will score goals. I think Southampton at home was the first time we scored three goals in the first half since Fulham, which I believe was Andy Carroll's debut in 2012. Uh, I think that's the second time we've only ever scored three goals at the London Stadium. So we need to start scoring more goals and, and winning more games at home. And I think if you can get them three, you can get them three playing together, 
um, and reading each other's game, we will score a lot more goals. Uh, as for the holding midfielders, yeah, Noble and Kiate, um, I think on form, they both work well. Uh, Mario, I think, had a good couple of games, um, especially Southampton at home, got his first goal, his confidence sky high. Chelsea, I, f I mean, a few people slated him at Chelsea. I didn't think he'd done too bad. But look, Stoke is a massive game and, and three points, like I said, not mathematically, but it will sort of keep us up, I think. I think without enough with another draw and another win. Um, so yeah, uh, some good questions in there this week. Um, so yeah, as always, look, keep subscribing to the channel. As I said, the support over the last few weeks uh, has been amazing. Uh, the comments we get. Um, and obviously we are so grateful for everyone that watches us and subscribes to the channel, interacts with us, comes up to us at games and says they enjoy our content. Um, go back and watch post-match point uh, Chelsea. Uh, me and Nicky was at the game, so Dan, Graham and Scott filmed it this week. Have a look at the fan cams. We didn't get many this week because Chelsea's always an awkward ground to get fan cams. And yeah... As always, keep subscribing, hit the notification bell, give me your comments below, give me your answers to any of these questions, and yeah, so that's it for this week's show, thank you so much for watching, I'm Ryan Archer, West Ham Fan TV, come on you irons! <laughs>